Learn and play online. In today's video, we are going to learn about a force called friction. What is friction? When two objects or surfaces rub against one another, it causes a force known as friction. Take a look at this bike for example. There is a pushing motion to move it forwards and as it moves forward, the wheels of the bike are rubbing against the surface of the ground. Friction is the resistance force that is pushing in the opposite direction of the wheels of the bike. Friction works against a motion because it acts in the opposite direction. Let's look at another example. This man is pushing the lawnmower forward to cut the grass. The lawnmower is moving against the surface on the ground. As the lawnmower is pushed forward, it is met by frictional forces on the ground. Friction is a part of our lives on a daily basis. Without friction, we wouldn't be able to perform simple everyday activities because everything would continue to slide as there is no force to stop it or slow it down as friction would. We need friction because it allows us to grip, hold and move objects in the direction we need or want them to be moved. The amount of friction between objects and surfaces is dependent on things such as how smooth or rough the surface is and how light or heavy the object is. Let's think about the smooth and rough surfaces here. If you wanted to go ice skating, which surface would give you less friction so that you can glide smoothly? A surface that's as smooth as an ice rink or a concreted area that has a rougher surface? Well, of course, skating on an ice rink would give you the best experience. This is because the blades on your ice skates would be rubbing against the smooth surface of an ice rink, which means there is less friction and that allows you to skate more freely as there is less frictional force going in the opposite direction. You would definitely not be able to skate like this on a rough surface as there would be too much friction. Now let's think about how the amount of friction would be affected depending on the weight of an object. The heavier the object is, the more it is pressed onto a surface and this means there would be more frictional force when you try to move it, making it harder to move. Notice the tennis ball on the left. It is easy for the lady to bounce the tennis ball up and down off the ground with little effort as the tennis ball is light which means when it hits the surface of the ground, there is little frictional force holding it down. Now notice the man trying to pull the kettlebells off the ground. As you can see, it takes a lot more effort to pull the kettlebells off the ground because they are much heavier than tennis balls. This means that there is more frictional force pulling the kettlebells to the ground because they are heavy objects. There would definitely be times where you would want to have less friction, for example, going down a slide would be best experience with less friction, so you can ride down the slide with ease. There are also times where you would want more friction, like when riding a bike for example. With increased friction, you would be able to slow down or stop easier when necessary. Here are some important notes to remember about today's video. Friction is created when two surfaces rub against each other. Friction is a resisting force that moves against a moving object, which slows the movement of the object down. The smoother the surface, the less friction there is. The rougher the surface, the more friction there will be. The lighter the object, the less friction there will be, making it easier to move. The heavier the object, the more friction there will be, making it harder to move. Friction is something we rely on in everyday life. Thanks for watching! Please remember to subscribe for more videos.